Hi, I'm Rico and this is 123Tube and today is going to be another quick video and it's about getting the most out of your mining rig. Now most of us know that we need to overclock the memory or whatever it may be to get the uh, largest hash rate possible but it doesn't end there. If your system is using a lot of, lot of electricity um, it's obviously costing you more to run so therefore it's costing you more to to mine that ether or Zcash or whatever you're mining. Now a certain somebody who I won't butcher their name but he knows who he is, he was on the previous video, very kindly pointed out something that's just so obvious but I didn't think about it at the time and that's if you put your power target down and you put your temperature set to a certain level um, you would think that that's going to aid in running the system uh, efficiently but not really because it's also the fan as well so if the fan is running faster than it needs to be therefore cooling the GPU down it will basically shove more power through the, uh, the, the GPU as a whole and basically use more electricity so what he uh, pointed out was if you basically have the fan uh, set uh, to a uh, certain level you can then mess around with the uh, GPU temperature and prioritize the GPU temperature and then that way once the room is equalized so obviously you have to have your room at normal operating temperature the GPU will think well I can't shove too much electricity or you know volts through the card so I need to basically ramp that down um, while keeping the fan running at this speed or whatever speed it's set to on default setting. Now what happens is, is if it basically gets too hot uh, because you're pro prioritizing the GPU temperature what will happen is it will reduce the voltage and then that will affect your hash rate so the thing to do is, is trying to get the card with the power target set to as low as possible the temperature set to in my case around 65 with default uh, fan curve and that basically gives me um, right on the edge of the tipping point so i.e. if basically i drop the temperature down uh, a bit further say to 50, uh, 64 63 it then starts affecting the hash rate but if i ramp it up to 67 68 and bear in mind the gpu temperature is prioritized so what will happen there is it will just pump more electricity uh, more volts through the card and you will use more electricity so hopefully that that makes sense so you basically want to get it set to uh, a point where it's running at room temperature and you're using as little uh, power as possible while maintaining your hash rate now in the case of this which is basically an outbuilding if I open the door the heat rushes out cold comes in the cards suddenly think oh I'm running rather cool at the moment so basically the uh, V core goes up and basically I start using a little bit more electricity so that's how delicate it is so that's why I say that when you're doing this make sure you're, you've got it all at running temperature so you can kind of equalize the settings but if I show you uh, what I've done on my system and how many watts I'm using currently it might give you an idea of how to save some uh, or make your rig run more efficiently therefore you can earn more money hopefully okay so here we have it so I have my system running at a stable 24.3 mega hash for Ethereum that's four GPUs and as you can see my setup is as so so the clock speed is as low as it would go for the GPU clock the memory clock mine seems to run very stably at 810 plus 810 now obviously over voltage set to zero power target set to 50 percent and then I've prioritized the GPU it might be difficult to see because it's a low resolution screen this monitor but I've prioritized the GPU temp and I've set it to 65 and I have the fan on auto so if I was to drop the temperature the GPU temperature down to 64 it would basically start hitting my hash rate if I put it up to 66 
then it starts using more electricity. So it's that balance that you need to get. And as you can see, that's um, GPU number three that we're referring to. Now, once you've set, if you've got more than one GPU, once you've set uh, the uh, settings for one GPU, it doesn't necessarily mean that the next GPU is going to have the same settings. Mine do vary. So, for example, the one at the end there, which is in a corner, that's a slightly hotter area than the one at the front here. So this one here, the GPU temp target is actually lower than the one at the end. Only by one degree, but that is the difference between basically bottlenecking and lowering the voltage and affecting the hash rate. So it is really fine-tuning the system. So there we have it, and if you want to see what we're running at, well, let's have a look. Okay, so we've had the door open, so it's a little bit cooler in here. So as you can see, we are running at 420, over 420 watts at the moment. So what I shall do now is just let the system normalise to normal room running temperature and then I, I won't be touching any other settings and it would just go to show the difference of equalising the room and making uh, your system run as efficiently as possible. So let's have a look at a normalised room temperature. Okay, so I don't know if we can see that. Um, it looks like it's around 390 to 400 watts. Hopefully that's readable on the camera because I can't really see it. But if we look, we shall see that it's all 24 mega hash rate. So we haven't lost any hash rate and we've reduced the power down by as much as, well, from when I started, it was 510 watts. And then by a bit of tweaking, it went down to about 450, 460. And then with the tweaks to uh, all the bits and bobs that I've just uh, talked about, we've managed to get down to under 400 watts. So when you think about it, we have the system probably running between 50 and 80 watts so that would leave the graphics cards probably running at 80 watts each so that'd be 80 160 320 and then 60 70 watts for the uh for the rest of the system and obviously uh you are in the conversion of power from the plug to the power supply there's going to be a bit of a difference there too so you always lose a bit but there we go so as you can see we are running as efficiently as i can possibly get this system so hopefully this information helps someone somewhere out there